Hello everybody, it's Thursday, uh, it's Thursday morning and I've got one job to do today and one in which you've seen us do a couple of weeks ago but I'm going to show you what the the winning uh, heavy cucumber looks like uh, and I'm going to start taking the seeds from it. So a bit of blue peter action here is what I did earlier, as you can see the it's starting to rot down so it's perfectly ready, I think it's ready for it to be taking the seeds from. So uh, as you can see I just wanted to show you how thick it, thick it is basically, so you can see that's my finger you can see how thick the inside walls and everything was um so this is the bottom third as well this is the one section where i get all the seeds from so this is the bottom like the bottom half i am just going to take a few i'm probably going to snip it about there or something like that um i will never get rid of all of this but uh, it's the seeds i'm after and the seeds i'm going to try and get a hold of and uh, i've already started taking some out look i just put my finger in there and uh, it's already coming out so let's see if we can get some viable seeds from this. Fingers crossed. So that's the first, that's the bottom half of the, the cucumber sorted. And I can just see a massive difference straight away. I have put the knife into this section here and pulled out basically up for about here, the seeds. Um, and you can just see the seeds themselves are empty. There's empty cases and there's not really nothing in there. What you want to be looking for, some nice, nice chunky seed. Um, don't know whether that's a valid one or not right there i'll check that in a second but this is the stuff that i've pulled from the other side and i have noticed just by looking at them there is some in here which are nice and thick and that's the sort of seed that i'm looking for uh you can't really you can't really see it at the minute but i'm going to give these a good clean off and i'm going to put them in some kitchen roll and um, put them on here because i'm going to get put turn this uh turn this propagator on just so i can uh, dry stuff out because after this after another couple of weeks, I'm going to need to transfer everything over into hand anyways. Uh, so I've got some tidying up to sort out. So uh, I'll get this sorted. That's, I need to empty that as well and clean that bottle out. But I'm going to crack on and get these bits done. But that's probably going to just go in the bin now. Because I can't get any viable seed from there. Time to get this processed. So just inside the house here, I'm in the kitchen at the sink. And I just wanted to show you. Um, I've cleaned these off. I've drained them out. And I've still got the membrane around the outside. So... I've filled them up with water, and what we're looking for is the ones that sink. The ones that sink are the viable seeds. Now, the ones that are floating here are all no good. So, it's a very quick way to be able to pick and find which ones will work and which ones won't. So, I'm going to get this sieve now, and I'm going to sieve all the top ones out and see what we're left with. So, there we go. That's what's left. From all the seeds from that cucumber, that's what I've got left. Not really much to go on, but fingers crossed... I want to put a couple in to see if they germinate and if they do, happy days and then uh, see what I can sort out. I was hoping for a, a lot more than that, but uh, I'm not going to be picky and choosy. If I've got something, then fantastic. So that's them all marked out and separated and dried. I've dried them off first with a kitchen roll. Imperative stuff this when you're uh, sorting out cucumbers uh, for the seed or any other seed, what will that be? <laughs> Make sure you've got plenty of kitchen roll. So I've got 55 seed here and i've got three in here i want to pop these three into the uh, germination tank it's a germination tank i want to pop them into the little pot here and we'll see what the germination is like just as a trial run we'll see what these three are like and then uh, hopefully we've got some uh, some good germination and then uh, i can decide what i'm going to do with these because i've still got to put some in the seed exchange and other uh, others as well so uh see what it gets sorted but uh, let's get these in here and i've also got a tomato to uh to de-seed in now as well so the next task is to get this tomato all sorted out it's been sitting in my fridge since Malvin, and uh, it's time to get uh, sorted out so i'm going to take all of this off take the seeds out and do pretty much exactly the same again and just to show you this is what inside of a giant tomato looks like pretty much the same as a standard tomato it's got lots of pockets here where the seeds are kept so at the minute i'm just getting my finger right in and uh, finding out where they are and just pulling it all out and just dumping it into the pot here and then i'll give all this a clean out and we'll add seeds and what i'll do with these ones is the kitchen roll i will lay them out in the kitchen roll it doesn't matter where i'm gonna put them in the kitchen roll let them dry out and then when i'm ready to sew them all i need to do is just snip cut snip squares off That'll fit the pot, put them in, in the way they go. So, I'm going to crack on and get on with the rest of this and get this sorted out. But yeah, it's the inside of a giant tomato. And voila, this is pretty much what I've got out of it. So, I am being a little bit lazy here. 
I'm thoroughly cleaning it all off. I'm going to wait for the base here to dry off, and then I'm going to put the I'm going to put the kitchen roll down, layer it across, and obviously put it all the way across, and then uh, cover it over. Right there we go, all sorted. I've even getting this. Uh, I haven't washed the tops off yet, but I will wash the tops off. Just want to get these dried off. So I've uh, got all of the, the seeds and everything on there. That's that done. Giant tomato seeds sorted and saved. I've just borrowed the little therm thermostat to get this uh, this up and running. Um, I've put the second layer on top of here, just so that the because uh, the onion seeds are the, the plants are getting really tall now. As you can see, this one's already come past the the top there so i needed to put the second level on so i've got the second level on this uh, fan's doing really well um i've got the germination tank at the top so i'm going to take that off actually because i've utilized this space in here so i'm going to put that in here do that now see your job do it see your job do it right that's in there that's that sorted just leave that top on there jobs are good right that's me sorted for today i've got to run down to b&m for uh, for i to get pick some stuff up, so I'm gonna head down to there and get that sorted, and that's me done for this for, for the day. I do have some sad news. Um, I should have really led with this. Uh, the other day, uh, I finished work early, um, about three o'clock, and I was just scrolling through Facebook and I spotted a post. Uh, somebody's black my cat's missing. Uh, anybody missing a black my cat? Well, I thought I had on. I hadn't seen Poppy all morning, so I had a, I had a look and I look at the the comments. Anyways, probably wrong. Um, Seen the cat, seen the pictures of the the cat that was at the side of the road, and it uh, turns out it was our puppy. So um, Leslie went down to the vets. Uh, she had been there for a few hours. She she was she was dead. Um, obviously broke little Elizabeth's heart. Uh, it's upset me as well. Um, it's pretty much the first animal that we've first pet that we've lost. Um, and knowing where she went, really we have had a cat before, but uh, we don't know where she, what happened with her. But uh, with this with this one puppy. We um, knew what happened with her. So um, Leslie went and picked her up, we said our goodbyes, and uh, we've uh, buried her. I went down and buried her next to her kittens that she had uh, a couple of a couple of months ago. I think it's nearly a year now, to be honest. Um, so yeah, she's. Uh, I mean, we didn't just bury the kittens, of course. Um, sadly, she lost two of them. Uh, there was four kittens in total. She lost two, so uh, we buried them two down at Leslie's allotment, and that's where Poppy is as well. So um, yeah, sadly, we lost a pet and a family member, and it's uh, hit hit a few were pretty much hard. But thanks everybody for your comments when I when, when you did message. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm not doing much this week. Um, I'm working all weekend, so it's not going to be a great, great deal. So I might just leave this for the following week. But anyways, I'll uh, catch you all on the next one. Hello you lovely lot, uh, it is the 24th of November, it is Thursday, Thursday. Um, I've I kind of had a breakdown yesterday morning, um, mentally I've been not good, uh, that's why my content has not been put out basically, so I've come, the truth's out now, I've uh, I've been struggling with my mental health uh, and I kind of blew yesterday, so uh, doctor's orders, I am taking some time off from work, I'm, getting, I'm taking a week off work, um, thanks very much for work as well, for understanding as well. Um, me speaking about depression has caused myself to fall backwards into it as well. So um, I know the problems, hopefully it's easier this time round. I need to get back in the garden, I need to get back into what I do best, get back into the garden, get my mind um, back in the outside, fresh air, etc. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I've got to go for some anxiety medication, that's the only thing I've asked for, I don't want to be putting on antidepressants not at all and um, that doesn't work for me it may work for everybody else or it may work for other people but it doesn't work for me so i am in the shed now this afternoon as you can see i'm making a start on one of the jobs i've should have done ages ago um i've got this here this propagator is full this propagator is ready for these zones to be put in here i've got onions to sow and so i've got to get this shed sorted out because i'm not prepared F what's it prepare fail it prepare prepare to fail so that's exactly what I'm in at the minute. If I don't get things off a good start now, it's going to affect everything come next year for the timing, the growing, 
everything. I'm going to have limited stock. I'm going to go look for stock, etc., etc. So I'm going to get my backside pulling the gear. I'm going to get the propagator sorted. I'm going to get this back bench sorted out now as well because I'm moving the other big propagator over in preparation for when this is full, that's ready to go. So I don't have to mess about. The greenhouse is sorted. That's ready to go for potting up. So when I want to put up, it's sorted. Um, so I'm getting this sorted in here and that's another job done. And I'll be heading down to the garden to start on there tomorrow, hopefully. So the yeah, the garden, the allotment itself, I've not been down. I've not worked the garden in about six months at all. So uh, that's that's been difficult. So I need to get myself sorted to get down there, basically. Today though, we're getting this sorted, sowing some more onions and also sowing some more giant cabbage as well. So just a quick rundown of my grow shed. So what I've got here is I've got the Spider Farm SF1000 underneath the Vitapod, the small Vitapod, and I've got my onions and everything in there which need to be transferred because I'm running out of space. I have my larger Vitapod here. That's one of two that I've got. Uh, this is all cleaned out, ready to go. I just need to take the water out of there. Um, that's ready for things to be transplanted over. Uh, and then at the back here, um, sorry, underneath this, and above this Vitapod is the Spider Farm SF2000. So it's the one that's a little bit bigger. Uh, covers the rest of the area up. Then moving around, I've got this back bench here. Um, underneath, uh, above there is me T5, uh, eight tube T5. And at the minute, I've just realized that two of the lights are busted. So I need to get them swapped over. Luckily enough, though, I do have spares. So I'll get the spares taken out and get them repaired. And then, and on this side here, I've got my other Vitapod, which will be getting put over across here. Um, I I will have this bench spare, and just above this is the spy, is the sorry the Mars Hydro SP150, um, which will come in handy later on in the season. And just behind this here, I'll show you, I've got me me young rock calendar for 2021. Now this has been a fantastic little uh, fantastic calendar uh, which ben has handwritten himself which is fantastic i'm looking forward to 2022s um which i've actually got a hold of already and i'll show you that later on in the in the video but uh, as you can see for jobs to do here we've got uh, jobs to do harvest your christmas produce prune fruit trees we've got uh, feed the birds for cooler weather weather there's lots of handy little things i have in here as well shows you the average light hours and stuff as well and what the risks are and you can actually put your own notes on for the years ahead you can actually keep a hold of these for years obviously for the future years as well but i'll show you 2022 shortly um but in the meantime we'll see what other goodies that ben sent us as well so thank you very much ben we'll have a look at them later on i've got to get this bench sorted out um and then that is the the grow shed done i'll move some things around get some sewings done and that's uh, a good day done and there we'll have it afterwards. So, shed's done. Tick on the list of things to do. I've decided that I'm not going to waste my time having one little one on and also the big one when there's still a load of space left here. I am picking some leaks up from Paul Rochester next Saturday. So, either this rest of this will be filled. Um, but more than likely, I'll probably just put them over here and put this one on. Um, and then uh, leave that under the light. I uh, don't need the heat. Let me put the bottom heat on. Um, but these will need the protection, uh, so I'm going to put the covers across here. Uh, I've got, I need to bring the green clips from the allotment because I need to get these staked up, these onions staked up. Um, but yeah, this is this is great, all sorted and done. My test cucumbers there, they'll not be up for a little while yet. Um, the main batch of onion seeds, you can see how things are progressing on here. These are a little bit later than I expected. Two weeks in, you can see where they are. We've got a good so a good germination from Michael Bradley's and also from Peter Holden's. As expected but with mine my batch of seeds uh -uh. so i'm not going to bother with them ones i'm just going to stick with the michael bradley that i've got left and also the peter holden um i might put some uh i might put some of uh pete's back garden in as well for the kelsias because uh, let's see i'm going on full hog with the onions this year so i'm going to get another little tree like this and then i'm going to get the other one sown when i get back and i've also got the early sowings of Cornish Giant off Lee Herriton so we've got plenty there to choose from uh, don't want, that one's too too far near good the little, the little seedlings don't want them ones near that these bigger ones I'll, I'll keep that one there I don't like that one so that one just nip, I'm going to be ruthless this year ruthless that could have been the winner <laughs> I'm not thinking like that uh, that's going to be no good 
So that one there's going to be near good. So there's some choices. I've got two, four, I've got six to play with. I'll pop them up and then I'll set the next batch away um, in a couple of weeks' time because it's still too early with these. So I'll set the next batch away in two weeks' time. Right, well, this is all I'm managing to get done today, but I'm um, pleased with the outcome in any case. I've gotten um, three lots set. There's loads of seeds in there now. I've pretty much emptied out what I've got left. Um, and I've put some Pete's back garden Kelsey in there as well. I do need to pot these up, but they can wait a little bit longer. Um, everything else, I need to get this to... I need to clip these up, so I'll have to get the clips from the garden. Because as you can see, they're starting to, to fall over. They need a bit of support, so I'll have to support them shortly. Probably, if I have a look underneath, the... the uh, nothing under that one and some of them you might see that there is a uh, the root coming out the bottom here that's probably the bigger ones more so than the others there is on that one just a little bit but uh yeah they're coming on canny for for early sowings and obviously my heavies as well not as big as others but i'm not bothered uh, i'll get there eventually but task sort out greenhouse a sort of shed done get onion sorted done and I've got some onion, uh, some some seeds to send away as well, which I've made a start with. So, happy days. Well, it's now Monday, and I'm uh, coming down with a lot of reassess the damage caused by the storm Owen. Uh, there's been a lot of problems down the uh, the, the way here. Uh, there's fence panels down. You see behind us here. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see there's actually fence panels lying on the lane. But luckily, so far, mine and Granddad's is fine. But let's see if there's any damage caused the greenhouses and things. So my first inspection, the top here looks all right. Greenhouse looks good. Let's have a look, actually. Just a few bits and pieces all over the place, which is to be expected. We'll uh, check the polytunnel in a second. We'll have a look. It looks like Gwen has been in and uh, put this up, because I think the window dropped, but that dropped beforehand. But uh, right, I'm going to have a look and evaluate and see how things are, and then I'll let you know once I'm sorted. So my fairy grandfather has been in, and he's actually taken some of the fruit from the trees. So I've got a load of apples here and I've got some pears at the bottom here, which he's taken off. It's been absolutely freezing as you can see, it was minus five, the lowest. And I think that's over the past couple of days. Um, I need to get a lot of this stuff sorted out. I'm thinking of the day. Um, I need to take these onions home because these onions need to be going back into the, the, um, in the pot so I can get the seed from them. And everything else and obviously i've got a couple of cucumbers here as well which mm. need to be taken for seed this one more so um it's going to need to be taken sooner rather than later but uh, there's the only damage i can see is a section of the window here it fell off but and there's about i think that window's dropped that window's dropped that window's dropped and that window's dropped same with that one there as well so the windbreak at the back here has done a good job so far Right, let's have a look elsewhere. Thankfully, the polytunnel is absolutely okay. It's absolutely fine. So, I'm pleased, pleased that's all right. Grand, I wanted to take the back section off there a couple of, about a week ago. I told them to leave it. Um, but either this this is all good, which is uh, which is great. I thought this was one thing I was worried about. Another thing I was worried about was this greenhouse. So let's have a look here. Yeah. Nope, the house is fine. If I look at the onion house, yeah, it looks like I've lost a couple of windows. The roof's, the roof's okay. Ah, the, the windows on the side have uh, had their day. So it looks like I'll have to get them sorted out, which is nothing really. I've got a missing window here. section there as well I right, all the poly cobs done so if I have a look here we've got that window there we've got that window there we've got this section here you know what it is I just get everything sorted I can't be true we're bloody sorted on this <laughs> so I've got that to do let's have a look down the bottom here this all looks okay No damage to the bottom of here. That's good. The roof's, roof's come off. The blue's come off that roof. There's no other damage from what I can see. There's nothing next door in any case, so... Uh, aye, 
not too bad. There have been people a lot worse off than myself. And I know Granddad is alright as well. So basically the only damage I can see is this. Which is nothing really. I can take this take these sections off and I can just get a couple of bits of ply in there, not ply, but uh, polycarb and put them back in. Uh, but the roof stayed on, which was fantastic. That polytunnel is okay. And so many, so many greenhouses as well. Sorry, I'm just slipping all over the place. I'll have it. Slip on there. Right, I'm going to pick a few things up and I'm going to head back up home. Back home now. Uh, like I say, there was a little bit of damage down there, but not too bad. Uh, the shed roof here, on this side, the blue cover is starting to come where I need to tack that back down. That's something that's simple and easy done. And But unfortunately, I've lost a pane of uh, polycarb out of the greenhouse in the back garden which i can replace in any case so not too much damage done thankfully just finishing off this week uh i've been sent some goodies from ben the young bro, and uh, i just wanted to show you a few things and uh, also i've got a bit of a giveaway as well so uh, i'll tell you more about it in a second but first let's show you what's happening in here i was just expecting a calendar but it looks like i've getting a few extra little bits as well so put them on one side in a second so Ben has sent a lovely little card here, and a, a little extra gift for your birthday, Ben. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> so, um, well, both paints available. At the so I'll tell you more what he sent us, actually. So, what's actually sent? Oh, cool. So he's got sent us a couple of prints as well. So we've got one print there. There is another print as well. Oh, that was back inside the house. Um, there's two prints, an A to Z, and also that print full of leaks. Which is absolutely great, thank you very much. But they're laminated as well, which is why they're not laminated then. They're in a package which I'm going to leave in there. So I'll put it in here so that the slugs don't get it. But that's really handy, so thanks very much for that, Ben. And that's a nice belated birthday present because, like I say, I haven't, get, I'm, I haven't opened this up uh, since my birthday. Um, and also, he sent me the 2022 Grow Calendar. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Ben. We'll get that opened up in a second. But I'll tell you what, this looks absolutely amazing. Especially picking up from uh, the last one, and of course, we had to get on made by award winning gardener, which is absolutely great as well. So, well done, Ben. Um, ben has started a new little business as well, uh, which I will just pop on here as you can see. So, we've got Thornton's uh, Growing and Living. So, if you just want to head over to Ben's uh, Facebook site as well, he's got the Young Grower for the gardening, and his shop as well is linked with that page. Please feel free to. Um, so yeah that's that let's open up this calendar because let's see it's going to be really handy uh, for next year as well because I've got one last year which is the house coming really handy I've got it set up there at the side I showed you that earlier on and it was straight away you can see this is much better quality than the one last year like I said last, last year's was really good and um, this one it's got so much information in Look at that just from Ben's story, his Instagram, his Facebook, his YouTube channel. Um, there's all sorts of different things. And you have every single section in here. The, the lines, the, the writing, everything is all hand-drawn and handmade. And all put on and all done by Ben himself. There's a lot of hard work went into this. A lot of hard work. And I totally, I'm so envious the fact that you can sit down and do this, Ben. Very well done. Some jobs to do over the course of the month. Absolutely loads to do. Different, it's got the days of the uh, the calendar year in, so all the, the the holidays and stuff like that. New Year's Day, Christmas Day, went to sow chilies, for example. Went this when the um, when the full moons are. Went to start chipping potatoes when Burns Night is. Um, top ten heirloom varieties to grow for this month as well, and that's just in January. The amount of content in here is absolutely fantastic, and this all goes from Ben's experience and uh, picking up from others' experiences as well. So that is absolutely fantastic and it's got nice vibrant colours and everything on there as well as you can see in the back all the way through from January to December. Absolutely amazing so that will be getting used definitely and like I said there's also a print that's about the same size as this near four piece of paper it's A to Z for allotment and it's quite handy I've actually taken that out because I was showing the kids and I forget to put back in so sorry about that <laughs> but you can catch out that on Ben's uh, on Ben's shop and uh, the website which I'll put in the descriptions below in any case so what we're also going to do Ben's been kind enough to provide uh, a calendar as a giveaway so thanks very much for Ben for doing that 
Um, what I want you to do, because we're going to help them out as well the best we can. So, for your chance to get yourself a very own 2022 calendar, then what I would like you to do is to obviously be subscribed to my channel and also be subscribed to Ben's YouTube channel, which is the Young Grower, which once again I'll put a link into the, the description below. Um, obviously, like this video and I want you to put a comment in this video which reads the following, and I'll put it across the bottom here. I've lost the plot with the young grower. Bit of fun. So I've lost the plot with the young grower. And if you put that in there, what I'll do is I'll leave this on for two weeks. And when the two week period is up, I'll do uh, the, the real random generator once I've got all the names down. So um, we can select the winner and I'll do that uh, on that, that video for that week. Things you need to do if you want to be in with a chance to get a very own 2022 grow calendar free of charge, which Ben has very very kindly donated. You need to like, follow, and subscribe mine and Ben's YouTube channels. You can feel free to go and join on Facebook if you like, and all other social media if you like as well. But specifically, obviously, the YouTube channels. Um, uh, like this video, and also you have to put in the comments of this video. I've lost the plot with the young grow. So, good luck, everybody. And uh, we'll see who gets a chance to win one of this. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic prize. It's well worth the money as well. Just getting one for our friends and family for Christmas time and stuff as well. So that is me for this week. I say it's been a bit of a difficult week. Um, uh, mentally speaking, I, I hit the bottom. There's only one way up, one's at the bottom. Um, I will get through it. it uh, this is not me just dwelling. Um, there's no point in thinking on uh, what's happened. You can only look forward to what's going on going forward. Uh, thanks everybody for your comments and your support and things as well. Uh, it says a lot of people will go through this as well. Um, I've got this all set up. I'm pleased with everything's all set up here. This is all set up for me leaks. I'm going down to see Paul Rochester this coming Saturday, um, and I'm going to be meeting hopefully Canada down there as well to continue on with the progression for the 2022 grow, giant grow um, giant schedule. Come see, see him in September this year, the show that I'm doing, so we'll hopefully get some more details upon that shortly. But uh, I will be picking up 24 leeks, which will be going this propagator on the right of me, and then I'll have my leeks ready to go, I've got my onions ready to go in here, and then it's ready to fill this room when they get bigger. So um, lots of things happening still. Fingers crossed, um, the garden is not going to take too long to get sorted out, um, But and I hope everybody's uh, gardens are fine, and I hope he's having to come, uh, come under too much damage at your own plots as well but for me this week thanks again thanks for liking subscribing and i shall see you all next week and i will get around to getting a live put up shortly once again apologies for the lack of lives recently as you can imagine i've not really been up to it so take care and i'll see you all next week fingers crossed <laughs>